Hello dear students, welcome in this lecture of 9th standard. Now the theory which we are going to, going to study from this lesson is the lesson number 8 and you can see the framing of the constitution and its features. Now in this kinds of lessons one thing is very pretty sure and clear that we are going to understand the basic systematic theory about the constitution, its beliefs, salient feature, importance and lots of things too also here. So what is constitution? Let's get the first topic here. <coughs> the meaning of constitution now what is the meaning of constitution that is our one first basic thing which we are gonna learn in this theory here a systematic belief if you talk about the collection of the rules regulations designed to make a country everything prosperous working properly in this country is known as actually the constitution and if you go more further what is the importance of constitution then we can say that the important features important features or we can say importance of the constitution lies in between of that all the rules regulations and jurisdiction to here so therefore if we can understand the theory we can say that constitution is a basic most important document which can be in the written form also and it can be in the oral form also means it is not subjected that constitution will be only inside a written form therefore we can say that it is also based on the laws custom theory and maximum basic fundamental rights also inside the constitution so we can say that the country's prosperity is actually under the constitution and the laws too here means a country can be developing only when the constitution is working properly and the constitution is followed by the people properly therefore we can say that the constitution involves all the kinds of systematic periodically things which is also keeping update time to time and it is also changing according to the reason of the fundamental things duties and basic other prospectus belief to here therefore we can say that it is actually known as the live or we can say living basic document of a country that is constitution now in the constitution you need to understand that some kinds of processes are there the process which are also used to maintain or somehow framed for the constitution framing too here so before the independence let's talk about before the independence somehow if you talk about the government the british government that is 25th march 1946 if you talk about okay, before the independence the british government involved themselves and they handed whole of the country in the india's hand it means that now they were thinking that this country is actually of the Indians and the mission of the country should be also given towards the Indian people therefore the mission of three members to find basic solution for the questions of the frequently working people religion aspects sect group secularism everything was now in the hand of the some of the pioneers of the nation they were also the leaders of Indian Independence League to here so if you go more further we can say on the basis of recommendation Cabinet mission, cabinet mission was formed out and after that we can say that the constitution assembly also went on more further to be set up here. So if you go more further than my dear student we can say that the constitution was actually framed to make all the kinds of amendment rules regulations theories and also basic concept of that so therefore we need to understand here okay, before we start the lesson we need to understand how it was framed out also what was the assembly and what was the work of the constitution people also so if you talk about this kinds of thing then we can see that the okay, constitution was assembled and it was started to be enforced by some of the group of people as i tell you as i told you and i'll also make you understand on this blackboard related to the constitution and the people of the constitution family we can see that or the constitution who made it is possible so therefore we can say that okay, various geographical region was also taken in the eye later on we can say that okay, region caste religion gender people from the community from the sect from the tribe diversification everything was examined before start or to make the constitution so the representative were also expert and the expertise were also taken out from the all the category of the caste all the category of the zone and every caste was invited in this or their representative members were also invited in this kinds of constitution therefore we can say that okay, it was including some of the scholars like Jawaharlal Nehru then if you go more further Sarojini Naidu as we can say that Sarojini Naidu and Vijayalakshmi Pandit were only two members who were the female members of the constitution assembly later on most of them were from the male group of category Maulana Abdul Azad Kalam then we can say that uh, Shyam Prashad Bismil then Mukherjee and HP Modi then 
Sarojini Naidu, as I told you here, Vijayalakshmi Pandit, the sister of Jawaharlal Nehru. Apart from that, we can say that this, all the people were included to form this kinds of constitution. And later on, the drafting committee was also made under the chairman and the leadership of Bhim Rao Ambedkar Saab. That's why we can say that the constitution was according to the prospectus belief on which all these kinds of leaders and their theories, their expertise were working to make these kinds of things also. Also, we can say that some of the people from the southern India or we can say that the people from the lower part of the bottom of Indian geographical zone was also involved in that. Kanagyaral Munshi, you should remember the name here. Krishna Swami Iyer, then Baldev Singh and later on maximum people were invited or we can say they were recalling their all the memories and representing all the theories after taking all the kinds of advantage of the making properties related to the constitution so that these kinds of advantage to be given to all the kind of people and also every people of the India should be remaining proper and they should be remaining uh, equal inside the base of constitution also everybody should be getting the judiciary imp independence also and the judiciary should be also working properly with all the kinds of grade of people therefore we can say that constitution assembly held 166 sessions my dear students it was actually going more than 166 sessions that you need to understand later on if you talk about these 166 sessions were held more than two years 11 months and 17 days that you need to remember 17 to 18 days were there now members of the assembly were from the different uh, we can say the constitution as a representative members from the other department were also from the different countries and if you talk about our constitution only then we can say that this constitution is actually made on the basis in the group of the different different countries examples like we can say like ireland britain and many more like other countries too here so our constitution is one of the very longest book but it is actually getting inspiration from the other countries too here this is not at here i can say that constitution is also needing more and more kinds of development at that time it was needing so what happened other people were also introduced in that see my dear student if i just tell you about the detailed information only related to the constitution then you will understand the theory of the constitution also you will understand that the assembly was set up over we can say like 295 articles it was consisting 295 articles later on we can say that you should remember these kinds of names this kinds of figures 295 articles along with the 295 articles i can say that okay, on the 26th january it was enforced here so 295 articles along with that eight appendixes were there so that it can be better formed out here and furthermore we can say it came into existence in the republic as a republic nation therefore we can say 26th of the january that is uh, to the november now if you talk about the January, that the season, that the session which we are actually celebrating Republic Day, or we can say that the day of 26th January is celebrated as an independent, independent Indian Day also. But somehow we can say that 26th November is also relating with a very special day. Now why it is that? Because we can say that 26th November 1949 was the day where the constitution was completed, and 1949 to 50 it was just kept as an observation. So after one year, we can say. 1950 the constitution was given towards the people and now the people of india was under the constitution they were handled by the constitution and they were living their life properly to the prosperity also whenever a country is made out the country is made out on the basic five features people trading system constitution preamble democracy trading will economically maintain the country people will maintain the country constitution will maintain all of these things democracy will be ruled under the constitution if any changes needed then democracy will be helping that also so therefore we can say that the constitution provides all the basic salient features to the citizens of india also rights duties and principles and later on we can say that the union state relation matters are also sought out in the constitution Furthermore, we can say elections and emergency provisions are also defined by the constitution. So, thus the constitution of India is more detailed and most one of the elaborated form and it is also inside the documental work here. So, that is the constitution. But if you ask me, okay, what is, is that constitution complete here right now, which I am telling you here, then I will say no, the constitution is not complete till now. We need to understand that constitution is also one of the soul of its own. See, constitution is the soul of a nation, but preamble is the soul of constitution. Let's you let you remember this here, my dear students. Preamble. 
is the soul of constitution and the constitution is the soul of nation now what is preamble it's a very important part of constitution as we go more further we can say india and indian constitution begins with the preamble now with the written form if you talk about preamble can be also used as a guidebook of the constitution in the written form most of the things are highlighted which is the soul of constitution to here now when you are actually going to school you are actually getting some kinds of pledge now what are the pledge the pledge can be like all indians are our brothers and sisters we love our country respect our country elders and all like this kinds of pledge are there in this constitution also some kinds of we can say related to the preamble some kinds of preambulic uh, we can say pledge are there or the systematic belief is given there now what are they that we can understand here in this theory we can say that it is also written that we the people of india are abide to follow the constitution also we can say in the constitution sovereignty integrity secularism socialism and we can say that democratic republic country is india so we need to follow all this kinds of systematic tool furthermore we can say that justice should be independent means social justice should be impartial apart from that equality should be there liberty should be there fraternity should be there many more kinds of things are there that is written inside the preamble that you can also read as you are reading the page number 56 and 57 so therefore we can say that the preamble is actually enforced or we can say the preamble was actually made to make constitution guided enough furthermore the preamble remained unchanged till 1976 remember the date that is 1976 and literally we can say after the 1976 socialist secularism and we can say the unity and integrity and national uh, we can say words were also added now these are not only the words these are actually the we can say which, these are the features of the constitution as well the preamble to here so the preamble is a verbalized document or we can say it's a verbalized term of theory where the fundamental objectives constitutional beliefs aims goals principles are focused there so the rule for the welfare is working in the india and therefore that is the constitutional belief to here and if we go more further than my dear student we can say that okay, these kinds of things are actually related with the fundamental basic rights and the principles of the india now if you talk about the preamble then pillars are there some of the pillars are there related to the preamble which are the pillars see basically it is divided into five to six pillars, but i will define all of them okay so if you go more further the word is which is known as constitution or the related factor to the preamble it consists of the words which is inscribed in that now which kinds of words are there and how one more dear students one more uh, theory which i'm needing to tell you my dear students that whatever words are taken by me in this lesson in this video lecture is actually having some kinds of detailed meaning so if you want to get study on that you can do by yourself here so what is that we can understand secularism or we can say secular nation democracy republication or republic justice liberty fraternity as i told you and equality too here these all are the basic pillars of the constitutional preamble or we can say pillars of the preamble now this is not only it if you go more further then we can say that the preamble pillars are actually defined very detailed for you that you need to focus on the page number 57 and 58 so we need to understand what is democracy okay what is democracy first of all we need to target the theory related to the democracy now you can say that ultimate sovereignty of the people which is people according to that people are working according to the people is making constitution to be prosperous okay there is no particular regime there is no particular regime in this uh, kind of constitution and all because all the people are equal here people install or we can say people which are actually uh, interested inside the constitution citizen of indian people are always needing to make this country prosperous therefore we can say constitution is related with the preamble and preamble such kind of preambles are or preamble is relating with the basic pillars democracy is the first pillar of that so therefore we can say what is democracy if you will just understand the name democracy then you can understand the power of people of course i'm giving the hint inside this only democracy means what see democracy means an ultimate power given to the people here of any nation therefore it can be said as a democracy if you go more further then we can say that a democratic word is actually taken from the greek phrase demos d-e-m-o-s okay you can focus here the word d-e-m-o-s demos means people 
okay demos means the people and crazy what is that that can be power so we can say cracks k r a t o s that is the power k r a t o s remember always this kinds of basic detail theory here which is the power power of the people therefore we can say that k country's power in, in is is within the people hand or we can say the people of the nation therefore which is equal to the justice for the people by the people of the people or you can do to the people here so these kinds of theories are also explained in the democratic people now in the democracy of india we can select our own religion we can select our own people group theory then leaders and many more other kinds of representative too here therefore we can say that the leaders in the parliament thereafter are also using their powers and later on they are also making this country this nation very working proper see my dear student one thing the theory which i am trailing which i am trying to make you understand in this theory is that okay, this constitution is actually working as a powerful as a powerful we can say document related to the indian indian zones here so therefore we can say that okay, thereafter uh, constitution is also framed out literally we need to understand okay, in the democratic people of election or the elected people their leaders through the caste voting can be all can be only going for the uh, we can say democratic level of the value party means without any kind of casting vote none of them can be selected for the governing or for the working for the people they cannot become the leader so therefore the choices are casted vote and some kinds of votes are also given by the representative as i'm telling you and we can say leaders in the parliament are also playing a very vital role they're after amusing the post to the prime minister and his or her own choice the cabinet minister is also working on that therefore whatever elections election sessions committee committee members candidates are elected everybody is actually processing through a process they are going through a process executive if we talk about the executive do not have any absolute power to discard this kinds of rules and regulations therefore we need to move further they are actually given the special time limitation to solve the theories and also to give their uh, we can say their work for the people so that people can select and elect them in the other upcoming meetings or in the uh, other upcoming sessions of the democracy too here so this is not only it if we can understand the india that india is actually standing over the democratic value of the power which is very powerful and this power is lying under the hand of the people in the hand of the people therefore we can say that okay, democracy means the people and the power of the people and we can say any citizen of india any citizen of india who poses is requiring uh, we can say cabinet or the ministers possibilities and many more kinds of things elections and all are related towards the constitution ministerial ministerial positions are not acquired hereditarily to give post towards their own kids means for example if king is the king of his nation then his son will be also king but in the democracy if person is a uh, if one person is a uh, ruling uh, or we can say his hod of his own party his head of department of his own party then it is not necessary that after his death or after his resignation his son will be sitting there his son has to also fight for his seat and if the people is selecting that person then only he or she can be becoming the next leader otherwise other person can be selected out so this is difference between the constitution also we can say that the government is working for the people the principles of the constitutions thereafter is known as the responsible government too here when the government is actually working under the principles of the constitution so the government can be said as a responsible government and later on we can say that okay, every person is having only 5 year of the tenure how many only 5 year of the tenure for the ruling other than after the 5 years the elections are held once again therefore the democratic government is actually based on liberty it is based on equality it is based on feeling of the uh, we can say fraternity also and uh, fraternity and also it is working for the continuous progress work achieved towards the goal of the india i hope you are understanding this lecture my dear student and i also hope that you are actually trying to understand this kinds of factor which i am making you to understand in the belief of the constitution under the sector or we can say under the pillars of the preamble whenever wherever whoever is actually breaking the constitution breaking the preamble's rule not following the indian citizenship he or she are abide to go jail he or she are abide to uh, get the punishment also same as we can say socialist is also there socialist is the second pillar of the preamble what is socialist see 
now you need to understand ki in the year 1976 let me write down the year here you can say in the year 1976 socialist world came into existence it means we can say that ki 42 indian constitution academic or we can say amendment was made constitution of india was added in the 42nd means 42th amendment and the word like socialist was also added in that 1976 that is the date written there so therefore we can understand the constitution of india is directly or indirectly showing that the social revolution is also getting a part of the constitution it was also brought under the economical equality and later we can say that the aim of welfare of state was given there when the country is socialist when the country is relating with the revolution of the change updates and all then only the people of india could be getting the welfare then only the state could be getting the welfare so the principles of this pattern was depending over the economically politically and equality you can say it was depending over it was depending to maintain the balance between uh, politically or we can say politics between economics and the equality of the people also and that's why we can say that it is reflecting the fact that india is committed to save and to secure the social as well as religious economical political then prime features and the justice for the people so that people of india should be actually relating with their own theories to the constitution and actually they need to go with their own principles under the constitution so that they should not hurt the constitution they, sh they should not break the rules of constitution and also they should not uh, unfollow the constitution they will be doing whatever work under the constitution under the legacy of the constitution that is actually the social feature of the constitution and it is also keeping elimination of the discrimination if there is any kind of discrimination between rich and the poor then it will eliminate that kind of things also means we can say that the opportunity for the fraternity and for the facility of every people are every citizen of the india are given there there is no rich there is no poor under the constitutional belief of the preamble and its pillar to here now if we go through with the general things then we can say that okay in the year 1976 same year you can say that same year we can say the third pillar of the preamble came out now what was the third pillar we can say that it is depending over the religious and belief listen properly my dear student that is religious it is religion and the religious belief now what is that in the year 17 Uh, 1976 the constitution came with the pre the preamble came with one a different word here that was known as the secularism now before i could tell you about the detail meaning of the secularism first of all i would like to clear a concept with you that india is a country where all the kind of the people religion are welcomed we all are actually depending over this diversity now if you go more further than any country is not having its own religion because the people are variety in the groups so the country is not having any religion people are having that religion here therefore if you go more further secularism the word was introduced under the 42nd 42 of the indian constitution and the amendment therefore we can say that the socially economically and the politically power were working out they were also now focusing on the secularism so secularism means what what is the meaning of secularism s e c u l a r i s m what is the meaning of that it means that any person inside the country is allowed it to select elect and to make his own religious belief his fairs and festivals and nobody are going to disturb him you can select your own india is not following any religion my dear as i told you so the country never promotes any religion and all the religions are welcomed here everybody is having freedom for the religion that is the basic thing which i am making you understand here therefore the country cannot discriminate any citizen any person any group of category of the people only on the basis of the religion and actually we can say that ki the discrimination in this way if the country is doing then the constitution will itself break down and there will be no any kind of prosperity inside the nation everybody will fight in the nation so before fighting we need to understand hindus muslims sikh isai buddhisms oh, we all are the brothers and sisters of our nation and we, this nation is not of any one caste this nation is of all the caste and we all need to focus that kind of thing to here that is known as the secularism so we can say that ki sarva dharma samriddhi sarva dharma samriddhi means all the we can say all the dharma are welcomed here all the dharma are having good kind of accomplishment also and sarva dharma sarva dharma samriddhi sarva dharma sambhava 
means every religion in india is actually existing and it is accomplishing also and we all are following respecting and we all are leading with each other with all the kinds of this constitution believe secularism and the pillars of the constitutional preamble to here so these all are the basic factor which i'm making you explain my dear students see this lesson is not only to understand you salient features about the constitution but this lesson is also to make you understand that who are you and what are you doing here what are you coming here for so this all the kinds of theories are related with that kind of same features only here so as if you go more further then we can see that religious meetings and religious theories are also held according to the 42nd of the amendment 1976 and later if you talk about then we can see that some of the written documents are also there basic feature of the constitution which can be said out here expect we can say expectation of the india since from the ancient time is very high and that's how india indian people leaders and many more kinds of people they made the constitution that is only to this lecture depending upon the chapter we can say that eight and you can see the constitution and it's salient or we can say features to here so now the written document means what if you talk about the constitution which came into uh, existence and forced on 26th of the january 1950 which is also considered as the largest existing detailed written document related to the constitution which is given in the basic salient features to here written document means what except we can say except britain or we can say british britain israel and india along with the other nations the world is actually have their own constitution written document but considering the social geographical diversified circumstances and other prehistoric uh, nations the constitution assembly has kept all the kinds of drafting uh, we can say constitution inside the written form only so in the india constitution is actually in the written form as well as the constitution of india is actually defined in the oral form too so this is the feature of constitution so this is actually the very good feature of indian constitution that you are having the longest theory book but then also it is actually into both the form written form also and it is verbal form too here now what is size of constitution if you are understanding what is size of constitution then you can say that indian constitution is comprised of 22 sessions 22 sections different comprised of the 395 articles yes my dear if you see one thing which i would like to clear with you my dear students if you don't remember this kinds of date then what you can do you know you can write down this kinds of date and you can also go through with this kinds of date so that you can understand the theory more better more proper also and where am i uh, where am, whenever i am making you to understand this kinds of seven features then single citizenship and other kinds of things also then you need to write down write down also in your notebook so that later after my lecture you can refer that out to you so this kinds of things can be also understood in this lecture now what is the size of constitution as i told you that 395 articles let's understand the size of constitution size of constitution consists of basic we can say that 395 articles and 22 sections all the sections are actually derived according to the rules regulations laws here so it is also comprised of the eight appendix as i told you so now it is approved towards the 12 appendixes when it was enforced in the 76 it was consisting of eight appendixes let me write out here which is now moving towards the 12 appendixes as per the today's calculation so we can say that ki all these kinds of things and theories are actually under the state administration therefore we can say the constitution can be working with the provisions for the state government also as well we can say that ki for the cases also internal materials also internal relations also fundamental rights principles duties we can say uh, procedures then judgment judiciary elections are actually coming in this all the kinds of governmental theory related to the constitution this is the size of constitution now constitution is also working for the minority is group here later on it is also working for the schedule class schedule caste here for the people who are deprived also furthermore we can say these kinds of constitution is one of the largest constitution and therefore extensive constitution and in the detail written document equivalent 
to the other constitution and better than other also so therefore we can say india is actually consisting hindus also muslims also and all see in this lecture if i am taking one of the name of minority minority matlab my dear student mere baat dhyan se aap suniye minority doesn't means that backward class lower class or we can say down class no it is not like that अगर आपके दिमाग में लग रहा है माइनॉरिटी मीन्स एक नीची जाति की मैं बात कर रहा हूं तो ये गलत है माइनॉरिटी मीन्स वॉट कंपेयर टू कास्ट ए और कंपेयर टू वन ग्रुप ऑफ कैटेगरी अदर ग्रुप ऑफ कैटेगरी पीपल आर लेस वो लोग कम है तो वो जो कम है दे कैन बी कमिंग इन साइड द माइनॉरिटी ग्रुप इट्स वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल समटाइम यू नो वी आर हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ फोबिया दैट माइनॉरिटी मतलब पीछे वाले लोग या फिर नीचे जाती इज एन ऑल इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट माइनॉरिटी मीन्स द पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली रिलेटेड विद द लो ग्रुप ऑफ देयर नंबर्स कम है ये तादाद में सो गवर्नमेंट नीड्स टू हेल्प दम आउट हेयर देफ वी कैन से दैट इट इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग ऑन द माइनॉरिटी टू हेयर इतना ही नहीं वी कैन से दैट कि सिंगल सिटीजनशिप इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन इंडिया एज पर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन in the kashmir was removed we can say that pehle in the ancient in the earlier time kashmir was having two kinds of citizenship that was known as a dual citizenship either you can call kashmirian or you can call yourself as an indian but now it is only single citizenship to here now if you talk about the single citizenship then if you talk about in america the dual citizenships are working there but in india single citizenship is working there now in america one for the united states of america and another for the citizens of the united states only here therefore we can say india is consisting only single citizenship that is only indian citizenship citizenship is actually known as the nagrik means nagrik ta aapko wahan ke milti you are getting the citizenship of india means you are a residency of india and therefore we can say that ki only the citizens of jammu and kashmir have dual citizenship this data which i'm actually expressing you to understand from the page number 58 and 59 is old data and now the data has been changed now you can't say that ki kashmir and jammu are having their dual citizenship now we can say that they are actually consisting in the indian citizenship only and they are the part of india therefore we can say that the center with the logging or we can say center with the strong federal state and the structure was also developed here now why it was developed here that also we'll understand in this lecture because india is consisting a union state therefore now any reference of this federal states and the federal religion and the constitution is actually working in india and india is a union states of all its policies here now therefore we can say that unification of the states components theories state is actually indicating all the fundamental rights duties and principle and a state has right to decide state has right to decide its own uh, we can say own kind of systematic theory also but all this kinds of systematic theory rules and regulation will be under the legacy of the central government that is the delhi it means that all the states are having their different rules and regulation but all the rules and regulations are actually working according to the government here according to the government without or we can say except the government it will be not able to be work out so all the union state if you talk about if you talk about union state if you talk about state list if you talk about current list and all all this list are actually working under the state policy now this is also leading to the residuary power now what is residuary power residuary power means it's a power which is also related with the general theory of a state policy subjects which are actually specified allotted under we can say to the union or the state government introducing the residuary power it includes the residuary power now this can be coming in the exam so i'll explain you in the detail that the residuary power means the powers which are actually mattering which are including the divisions and the sections of the state can be said as residuary power literally we can say that the central government is also given the power for the legislation about the residuary subjects to here it means that the discrimination or we can say the distribution just talk about the distribution the financial distribution reasons resources between we can say union state or union government or the state government excises the custom export import or residuary is done between this kinds of we can say powers here whatever material is coming in the state going in the state relating towards the province of india or we can say nationality or the zone of india is actually under the constitution and constitution giving a special targeted topic or a section to examine this kinds of export import which is decided by the central government 
and the state government and can be also which can be said as the residuary power Lately, we can see that it can be related with the some basic class and factors to here what are the class and the factors we can see that it can be also related with the tax of the state revenue tax of the state then it can be related with the entertainment tax also it can be related with the educational tax also it can be related with the other merging financial tax resources also which is decided by the state here it means that the state will decide the policy of the trading system of its own state depending over the pro poverty of the state depending on the productivity of the state depending on the distribution system of the states and also depending over the availability of the materials of the state so that can be defined as the residuary power i hope this lecture is interesting for you my dear student and i also hope that you are enjoying this lecture too so we will take this lecture more forward inside the other information in the next part of this lecture till then what you can do you can refer this pages and you can also go through with this kinds of examples of the residuary power and other kinds of power too upcoming lecture will be related with the un uh, we can say unified arrangement of the during crisis if any crisis are there then which kind of provisions are made so that country could be handled well including food cloth dwellings shelter education health medical facilities many more things so we'll take that lecture I uh, will understand that kind of theories in some other second part of this lecture. This was the part number one of the lecture. See you there in the second part. Till then, you can take care. Jai Hind.